Supernova Everyday Essentials. Practical bite-sized exercises delivered by Miranda McPherson, professor, assistive technology trainer, and Supernova user. This series is focused on using Supernova to become proficient at the everyday computing tasks you or your clients need to be successful at home, school, and work. Alrighty, so today with help, uh, we're going to take a look at the control panel. Um, first, we have a couple of different options. In the upper tabs, Supernova on desktop 9 dvit one p virtual machine connection window, help, menu item, menu key, alt plus H, left mouse button. We have um, the help tab at the very end. Help, no selection menu. And it is very similar to the other help button that I'm going to show you in the button bar. The only difference is at the bottom of the list, we have an about, about shortcut A7 of 7. Which when you click on that. About Supernova Magnifier and Screen Reader version 21.02 build 3046 Enterprise Edition Customer Support ID 182. Gives you your information on about your Supernova. version of Supernova, your serial number and authorization. So when you're contacting support, if they request that information, that's where you'll find it. Um, so on each of your page tabs, whether it's visual, speech, braille, or media, you're going to have at the very end of each one of those page tabs is the help button and also a more drop down menu. More no selection menu. More which menu. Mimics the um, help tab with the omission of the about feature. Uh, the first one that we're going to take a peek at is your Supernova manual. That's the second option down. You'll notice the first option will change depending on what application you're working with. So I'm not currently in an application, uh, so it's going to show you help for Windows 10. Windows 10 Explorer help shortcut H1 of 6. Uh, but you'll notice as we go further, when I open up an application, that will change for help for that application specifically. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go down to the Supernova manual. Supernova manual shortcut M2 of 6. Supernova HTML help. Welcome to Supernova Horizontal. Okay, so we have on the left hand side is a navigation pane with all of your help topics. You can just use your down arrow keys or use your mouse to click on them. How to find help. And then go ahead and press enter. How to find help. And you'll notice that it's a, a collapsible menu, which shows other options within that uh, topic. Use the quick reference booklet. Hockey helper. Okay. And I'm going to have press enter on that hotkey helper. And then you're going to press F6. F6. Dolphin cursor on page has three links, one headings. Up one takes, level visited link. Takes you to the document area of your help. And you can use your reading keys to read the information. Previous topic link. Next topic link. Heading to. Hot. Normal. Supernova contains a large number of hotkeys for accessing useful features or product settings via a quick simple key press. Supernova's hotkey helper function helps you find the. Okay. And then if I want to go back to that navigation pane, I'm going to just press F6 again. Dolphin cursor off hotkey helper horizontal. And find another topic. Get help. Get help from this. Get support for Supernova. Get press support enter. for Supernova. And then press F6 to navigate to the document area. Dolphin cursor on page has nine links, one headings. Okay, Up one links. level visited link. We hear that there are nine links. You can jump to link by pressing tab. Previous topic link. Next topic link. Find help on the Dolphin website link. Okay. And then the other option, I'm going to go back to the control panel with left control spacebar. Dolphin cursor off Supernova control panel. Visual page. Magnifier size magnifier view color scheme highlighting mouse pointers line view doc reader connect and view. Okay. And I'm going to press uh, control and tab to navigate to the speech tab. Speech page. Speech button. Okay. Speech volume speed character echo text. And then I'm going to press tab to navigate to the same area that we were on the visual tab. Volume. Speed. Car text. General. Verbosity button. Modes button, help button, more button. Okay, again, it's the same exact information and features on each page. More no selection menu. Windows 10 Explorer helps. Supernova manual. Hotkey helper shortcut T3 of 6. 
Okay, hotkey helper is going to give you information uh, to look for specific hotkeys. And I'm going to press enter here. Dolphin hotkey helper. Forms mode blank line edit. Okay, it puts you in a search box. I'm going to go ahead and type, um, let's see. C U R S O R. And I'm going to pre press enter. Dolphin cursor on Dolphin computer access logo. And you can down arrow to get down to the lower section, or you can press 2, which should skip to. Heading 2. That Supernova heading level. magnifier and screen reader. Uh, heading level 2, and now I'm going to use my down arrow. Normal. Speak from cursor. Left shift plus numpad 2. Speak to cursor. Left shift plus numpad 1. Okay, so you can hear the different hotkeys that you might be searching for. Okay, I'm going to go back to, actually in this case, I'm going to open up Excel. Dolphin cursor off search, gap, E, Microsoft, X, Excel, desktop, list view, Excel, EXC, good morning. Well, I'm going to open up a new blank workbook. Table sheet one, a one no border. Not and let's say I forgot some certain keystrokes for Excel or just different features that I can use with Supernova. I can go ahead and do one of two things. I can do caps lock plus F1 to bring up the help menu. Or in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do control panel again. Supernova control panel. Help button. More button. More no selection menu. Microsoft Excel 2016 help shortcut H1 of 6. Okay, that first shortcut is now adjusted to the application that I'm working with. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Dolphin cursor on Supernova help. Page okay. has 10 links, 7 headings. Heading okay. 1. Microsoft Excel help. Okay, it takes me right to Microsoft Excel help. I'm going to tab to the first link here. Normal. Useful Excel hotkeys link. Useful Supernova hotkeys link. Item finder link. Quick reference, speech link. Okay, I'm going to shift tab. Item finder link. Useful, useful Excel hotkeys link. And I'm going to press, press enter here on the useful Excel keys. Heading to useful Excel hotkeys. Table 9 rows by 2 columns. Normal. Function now, column 1 row 1. One quick way to navigate a table is to press and hold the dolphin key, the caps lock, and that allows you to arrow in each direction. Let me just show you just down arrow how it navigates a table. Hotkey column to row one. Arrow keys column to row two. Move to the next sheet in the workbook column one row three. Control plus page down column to row three. So it goes left to right, top to bottom. But if I wanted to navigate down in one column. N. Move to the previous sheet in the work. I'm going to press the caps lock key and down arrow. Edit active cell or move focus to the formula column one row five. Add or edit cell comment column one row six. Okay, I'm going to pop over to the right by holding the caps lock and right arrow. Shift plus F2 column to row 6. Shift plus F11 column to row 7. And that's caps lock and down arrow. Okay. And let me take you back to the control panel. Dolphin cursor off supernova control panel. More no selection menu. HTML help. Supernova manual shortcut. Hockey helper short. Visit dolphin help and support website shortcut V4 of 6. Okay, one of my favorites. You've got lots of resources for help here at the Dolphin website. In a moment, we'll click on that. Launch remote support tool shortcut R5 of 6. And if for those of you who are not familiar with the team viewer, that allows either Dolphin support agents to remotely access your computer for help or other folks that are working with Supernova as well. Uh, when I work with students and I need to get to see their supernova and help them remotely. We can use the TeamViewer um, application, and this is a great shortcut, right, to start that. Um, and then the next, let me go Visit up Dolphin to this help one. and support website shortcut v4 of 6. Let's go ahead and go to the website. Supernova control panel. Speech page. More button. Dolphin cursor on a Dolphin uses cookie, heading 1. Help and support landmark main. Okay. And I'm just going to press tab. Normal. Team viewer button link. There's the link to the team viewer here on this side as well. And then here's our help topics. I'm just going to press H to navigate from heading to heading. Heading to contact support. 
And below each heading, you've got a series of links. Let's just review a few. Normal. Contact support. Call support. Book a support callback UK only link. Okay. Heading two. Learning. Okay. Resources. So learning resources. I'm going to go ahead and arrow down through the options here. Normal. Learning resources. Videos link. Online learning link. Okay, let's go to the next help topic. Heading two. Support solutions. Okay, let's arrow through a few of these. Normal. Support solutions. Updates and patches link. Manuals and user guides link. Guide Connect Premium Plan link. Legacy Demo Downloads link. Easy Reader App Help link. Okay. Heading to Other Sources of Help. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and arrow down a couple here. Normal. Other Sources of Help. Locate a Dealer link. Charities and Volunteers link. Courses for Professionals link. Trainers Own link. Discussion Groups link. So a lot of help resources there. So we've looked at the manual, the user manual, um, the hotkey helper, the website, um, the shortcut to the team viewer to have remote access to your computer for help. And those again are all found in the supernova control panel in the help button in the button bar on any one of those tabs or excuse me pages, whether it's visual, speech, braille or media. It's also in the upper menu on the help tab there. And you can also press caps lock plus F1 to access that help menu as well. And that concludes the section on help with Supernova. I, um, I, uh, I want to add one, one thing here. Under the second column, the help and support at the bottom is um, a link to the knowledge base. And it, that is also another great resource. If you start seeing something quirky happening in Supernova, which you know can happen because operating systems do automatic updates where little things change and you might, might see something weird. Um, typically what happens when that happens is, you know, someone will report it or lots of people will report it and we'll put a known issue in the knowledge base. And those are always priority fixes. When, when we see something happening, you know, because of a change um, to an application that you're using or a change in the operating system, we typically will record uh, those instances there so that, just so that you know, like, it's not because of anything you're doing, something's happened and we're working on it. So just another great resource I thought I'd mention since we were on the Support Center page. Whatever your level of sight, today or in the future, you can rely on Supernova to help you succeed. Download an unrestricted 30-day trial of any Supernova edition today.